glorious. You know, every week I'd start off with that. I love that song, Aquarius. I can't help it. And I'm such an old, you know, I'm the, I'm like what I talk about humans are like. They get into patterns. <laughs> they stay in those bloody patterns. Every week I could do the same thing with Aquarius. Aquarius! See what I'm talking about? We need to change these things so that we just don't repeat the same thing over and over and people get sick of it. Anyway. Welcome Aquarius to your Tarology Overview for the week beginning Monday the 2nd of August. This is a great Monday. This is a week of balancing, a week of partnering. Of course, we have all heard of the sayings, two heads are better than one, or it takes two to tango. Well, that's the go this week. Do things with others, particularly if you're in a partnership, be really nice to each other. If you're not in a partnership, find someone who you can be nice to. Even if it's the man at the water cooler. Say hello and how have you been and how was your train trip in? Whatever it is that you say, just take it easy and enjoy. But if you're going to do anything, it's a good time to do it with another is the point that I'm trying to get across. Now, let's get to the spiritual bit. You know, I love the spiritual bit best. How many times have you heard me say that? It's particularly good time to meditate with another. Two minds expands the frequency level of the stillness and positively can surprise both of you because it expands the frequency, you see. Energy vibrations clear and we can have little healings happen and we can have transformations and we can get insights and it's more easy with to do it with more than one person. That's why people join groups of thinking, praying, act for the same thing at the same time, visualising. They have healing days all around the world. And there is, I can assure you that if you do some research, Google, 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 you will find that this has been proven, scientifically proven, that spontaneous healing happens from group situations. And so expand yourself this week, Aquarius, and own your power connected into that. Because sometimes you're very powerful, self-confident. But it's a bit like that, what I said, I think I think it was a bit of a sage thing there. You're very powerful, you're very self-confident, but sometimes you have a lack of self-esteem or worth. And today, this week, bring that self-confidence, bring that worthiness, bring that self-esteem up. Because you are some of the greatest healers, Aquarians. We're moving into the time of Aquarius. It's now time for you to come out. Take your head off. Two heads are better than one. That was a joke. Or put your head on, one or the other. And make it work for you, darling. Because it's time. Cut away any of the old deadwood that could hold you back from being the conscious channel that you are. And aligning with creator's energy of joy and the healing process that comes. You know what this card represents, darlings? It's the Magician card. It's the number one in the Hierarchana. It's a card that simply says you've got all the tools you need and you can be an instrument for Creator to bring through the well-being of light to uplift and help others on their journey. That's what it says. And so be in it. Practical magic and miracles can occur. And a lot of times miracles occur not because the person who you're given the energy to of healing believes, but because you believe, darling. You believe. You're the power channel. But it's not ego belief. It's heart, intention, flow, the creator transmutes. 
It is quite divine. And this is what you have access to this week. Are you going to make the most of it? I know an Aquarian who can... I'm going to get them to give me a bit of a healing. That's what I'm going to do. Because I could do with a little bit of alignment. So, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. And I know why I'm going there. You see, when you get inspiration like that, and you follow it up, magic and miracles happen. I'll let you know how I go. Love you all, Aquarians.